Thida West Lafayette at that Jaeger Road construction project that we talked about just a moment ago. Another sunny day for construction workers, Jesse. Absolutely. Well, there will be several sunny days to go for them <laughs> as well. They look like they're making progress on that. Yeah, they do. It's pretty good. Um, so that's the good news to the dry weather. Of course, we do need rain here. And precision is showing a little bit there towards northern Illinois. Now, I'm going to introduce the very slight chance of a sprinkle or very light shower, especially in the farther north of uh, the viewing area you are, but this will be very few and far between as this boundary here continues to sink to the south. It will bring the very slight chance of a sprinkle, maybe a shower, but very few and far between and very short lived at that. So let's go over to temperatures and show you the relief we were just talking about. But this is still warm for this time of the year. Average highs in the mid 80s, but we are in the upper 80s, some lower 90s across the region, 91 degrees in Lafayette, 87 Monticello, Logansport, 88 in Burlington. Notice still some more upper 80s and lower 90s, 89 in Attica and 89 in Crawfordsville. Okay, future cast not going to show the rain chances for the rest of this evening, but again, we will stick in the very slight chance of a pop-up shower for the at least the beginning part of your evening cast, but it looks like as time progresses, we will clear out the clouds and it looks like we'll be under a mostly clear to maybe partly cloudy night for the rest of the evening. So again, we will hold on to the very slight chance of a shower by the 8 p.m. hour, 84 degrees. We'll cool it down to the middle 70s by 10, 75 degrees. Notice the trend with the cloud cover too. We'll go mostly clear right around midnight, 70 degrees around midnight, and we'll dip our lows down pretty comfortable. Definitely want to open the windows again, give those ACs a rest. 58 degrees tonight in Rochester, 57 Winnemac. We'll go towards the lower 60s towards the central and southern part of the viewing area. 60 degrees Monticello, 61 tonight in Lafayette. All right, future cast tomorrow morning through tomorrow evening. Notice the clock moving. Not a lot going on though on the map here. That's because we're going to be under a mostly clear day all day tomorrow. It still will be warm, just slightly above average, but boy, it's going to feel nice compared to those triple digits. 82 by your lunch hour, so very nice uh, time to go out for lunch. Very great day tomorrow, 5 p.m., mostly sunny skies, 87 degrees. Notice the wind direction out of the east northeast, so it will keep our temperatures from shooting up into the 90s, of course, which is good news because we need a break from the heat and we're going to get it for the next few days. All right, here we go on future cast towards Wednesday morning. Notice we stay dry for the next couple of days. Not a lot of activity out to the west, but if you look to the south, there's a boundary down here and that's going to keep a very active storm track to areas in the southeast where they're going to get several inches of rain in a lot of locations as they con they're going to constantly get daily chances of rain. Some of the latest model guidance is kind of bringing this boundary farther north by the end of the week towards the weekend. So I have introduced the chances of rain on Friday and Saturday. Not feeling extra confident just yet, but there is a slight chance of rain as this boundary is forecasted, at least with the uh, model guide. It's to move a little farther north. Highs on Wednesday, middle 80s, 87 Frankfurt, 86 Burlington, and 87 degrees in Chalmers. 61 degrees, again, the low tonight, partly cloudy. Good night to open the windows. It will feel nice tomorrow, not too bad. 87 degrees, right around average, a mostly sunny day, and the seven-day forecast looks pretty good. Wednesday, 87 degrees. Thursday 85. So notice the temperature is not too bad as we stay in the middle 80s, right around average. Again, our average on the top of the seven day forecast 85 degrees. Now we're going to warm it up towards the weekend. Again, that boundary may start to move northward. We'll keep our fingers crossed here, but uh, looks like some chances of rain by the uh, weekend here. 87 on Saturday. We'll warm back up to the 90s on Monday and make it a little warmer next week, too. It looks like a Maybe a little another uh, hot snap, I guess, if you want to call it, towards the beginning of next week. We haven't talked about opening the windows in quite a while, know, so that'll yeah. be nice to yeah, this evening. Yeah, upper 50s, lower 60s, okay. that's pretty nice. All right, thanks, Jesse. Jesse. We'll get the ladies for me at 6. Right. Coming up, the conflict of tax cuts. Find out what...